They're all around us. Families with children going about their daily lives. Errands, car problems, trying to get around with a toddler. Sometimes a family needs a little help to deal with life stresses. You can contribute to happy, healthy childhoods with a few simple steps. Contributing to a great childhood can be as easy as being a good neighbor. For more, preventchildabusefl.org. Hello, neighbors. My name is Haley, and I'm the Education Coordinator at WFSU Public Media. I'm really excited to see you all today because do you know what today is? That's right, it is Be My Neighbor Day. This is a special day where we celebrate being a caring neighbor. But what does it mean to be a caring neighbor? Hmm. Well, I know I try to be kind to my neighbors by waving and smiling and saying, hello neighbor. Oh, oh, and I also like to do nice things like carefully pick up litter, even if it isn't mine, so my neighborhood looks nice and it helps to take care of the animals and plants around us. Hmm. Oh, and I like to make cards and send them to my friends and family, especially since I can't see many of them right now. Speaking of not seeing each other, you might have noticed that Be My Neighbor Day looks a little different this year than it has before. Usually we all get together to have a big celebration in downtown Tallahassee, but to keep us all safe and healthy, WFSU and our friends at Prevent Child Abuse Florida have decided to bring the same Be My Neighbor Day fun to you at home. All week long, we have been sharing different activities with you from our partners and friends across Tallahassee on WFSU TV and on Facebook. And we have even more in store for you today. We're going to visit the library and some museums. Oh, and we even have some special guests for you. It's gonna be so much fun. One way you can join in at home is to visit one of our local Leroy Collins Leon County Public Library branches to pick up a Be My Neighbor Day bag while supplies last. The bags are full of activities and information from our partners all around Tallahassee. And we're also holding a free raffle to win a basket of exciting Be My Neighbor Day PBS Kids and WFSU Education goodies. Visit wfsu.org slash education slash neighbor day to sign up. We'll choose five lucky winners on Monday, February 15th. We would love to see how you're celebrating Be My Neighbor Day at home. Take photos and share with us on WFSU Education's Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter, at WFSU Education, and use hashtag NeighborDayTLH. And now I am so pleased to introduce to you Tallahassee's own Mayor Daly, who will read a special proclamation for us. Good morning. My name is John Daly and I am the proud mayor of the great city of Tallahassee. And it is my honor and privilege to present this proclamation this morning for Be My Neighbor Day. From the governing body of the city of Tallahassee, a proclamation. Whereas February 13th, 2021 has been designated by the city of Tallahassee as Be My Neighbor Day in support of the nationwide movement to celebrate the legacy of Mr. Rogers' neighborhood and his simple signature question, won't you be my neighbor? And whereas WFSU Public Media, Daniel Tiger and the city of Tallahassee, welcome a new generation of children and families to our neighborhood with a special virtual event where we can safely explore our community, continue learning in new ways, and celebrate all of our Tallahassee neighbors. And whereas WFSU Public Media, has been providing television excellence to our community for 61 terrific years, and over the last year has worked tirelessly to transition many of their educational programs from educators, parents, and children to the virtual world. And whereas the legacy of Fred Rogers and Daniel Tiger reached thousands of our youngest citizens daily with timeless lessons that reflect the best that all of us strive to be, reinforce that it feels good to be a good neighbor and remind viewers that one kind act can lead to many. And whereas during Be My Neighbor Day, with generous support from Prevent Child Abuse Florida, friends from all over our community will share stories, crafts, and activities to highlight the best of our city's history, culture, arts, and environment. 
And whereas by partnering with the local organizations like WFSU Public Media, Prevent Child Abuse Florida, the Community Classroom Consortium, Museum of Florida History, the Grove Museum, Leon County Public Libraries, and the Challenger Learning Center, the City of Tallahassee offers and helps promote awareness of programs and services, including quality exhibits and hands-on activities for young children and their families throughout the year. And whereas the Tallahassee City Commission believes that an engaged and connected community is a happy community, now therefore, I, John Daly, by the authority vested in me as Mayor of the City of Tallahassee, do hereby proclaim February 13th, 2021, as Be My Neighbor Day, and encourage each of us to renew our commitment to the message, do something nice for your neighbor, do something nice for your friend. In witness of each and every one of you virtually, I have signed my signature, John Daly, dated February 13th, 2021. Thank you so much to Mayor Daly and the City of Tallahassee for helping us make today the official Be My Neighbor Day of 2021. And to our friends at Prevent Child Abuse Florida for helping to make Be My Neighbor Day happen this year. Now I feel like I'm forgetting something. Who do we usually invite to Be My Neighbor Day? There's usually a special guest. Do you know who it is? Oh, oh my goodness, neighbors, that's right. Daniel Tiger. Friends, can you help me call him? Daniel, Daniel, are you calling him? There you are, Daniel. Hi there. It's so good to see you. We miss you here in Tallahassee, but I'm so glad you could visit us this way. Hey, Daniel, I have a great idea. I think we have lots of your friends watching from home. Why don't we play a game with them? I bet these friends know a lot about you and your neighborhood. Let's play some Daniel Tiger trivia. What do you say, friends? Do you wanna play? Great. Well, let's see what our first question is. Where does Daniel live? Is it A, Elwood City, B, Neighborhood of Make Believe, C, Sesame Street, or D, Planet Purple? Hmm, what do you think, neighbors? What was that? Yes, it's the Neighborhood of Make Believe. They got it right, Daniel. Let's try one more. What is the name of Daniel's blue stuffy? Is it A, Tiggy, B, Trolley, C, Benji, or D, Pandy? I think I know this one. I think I know. Is it Trolley? Oh, no, okay. Well, maybe it's Pandy. Is it Pandy? No. Hmm. I'm stumped, neighbors. Do you know what Daniel's blue stuffy is named? You know Daniel? Oh, that's right. It's Tiggy. Thank you for helping me. Well, that was fun, friends. Maybe we'll play more later, but right now, I think it's time to visit one of our friends in the Tallahassee neighborhood. Daniel, I've got to make a trip to visit some friends, but I'll see you soon, okay? All right, neighbors. Now, usually when we celebrate Be My Neighbor Day downtown, we get to ride on our city of Tallahassee trolleys and visit all sorts of places, do crafts and read stories and sing songs. But so many places aren't able to be open right now. But I've got a surprise for you. Today, we're going to pretend together and visit some special places together, even though we can't be there in person. So close your eyes with me. Smile real big and think about the stars and the moon and the sun in the sky because we're gonna go to the Challenger Learning Center of Tallahassee. Are your eyes closed? Okay, close your eyes. Okay, ready? One, two, three, let's go! Oh wow, it worked! And look where we are, the Challenger Learning Center of Tallahassee. While we're sad we can't quite go inside, they're really excited to share with you an activity all about shadows 
and an activity you can try at home. Hi, my name is Lane. I am the Programs Coordinator at Challenger Learning Center of Tallahassee. And thank you for joining us today for Be My Neighbor Day 2021. Uh, today we're going to do a little activity that involves shadows. Shadows are created with two things. You need a source of light and then an object that blocks that light. So today we're going to have our little pretend sun right here and our pretend little tree and nice little green space here. So we can see that when the sun is shining, it's hitting this tree, the tree is blocking the light, and then a shadow is cast. So no matter where your shadow is, your light source is usually going to be behind it. So whether that's the sun or a lamp or an overhead light, something like that, it's always going to cast a shadow with the light behind the object. And we can see up here, when we get to be about noon, about 12 o'clock, the middle of the day, and the sun is shining straight down, the shadow is right below our object. And we can see as time changes throughout the day, our shadow will change direction as well. So for our activity today, I'm gonna to show you how to make a little shadow art. You can do this in your neighborhood. You can go outside and do this. Um, I'm going to do this with this little tiny teddy bear and using uh, the same sun flashlight that I was using before. So I can see here, I have my light source and there is my shadow. So the way that you do this is you just take your pencil and you can change directions however you want, but you're just going to trace the shadow. And it doesn't have to be perfect. At some point, it's going to kind of become sort of some abstract art here. So I have one little space where I drew my, my first shadow, and I'm going to keep adding shadows. So I can see as I change the uh, direction of my light, my shadow changes shape as well. out in your neighborhood and you can create all kinds of original shadow art. Um, I encourage you when you're outside to take a look uh, towards the sky and uh, maybe see you know how shadows change depending on what time of day it is and where the sun is in the sky, things like that. So thank you so much for joining us for Be My Neighbor Day. Uh, we are Challenger Learning Center of Tallahassee and you can find us at challengertlh.com. Bye-bye! So that's how I get a shadow. Thanks to the Challenger Learning Center of Tallahassee for joining us for Be My Neighbor Day. Be My Neighbor Day is made possible this year from generous support from our sponsors at Prevent Child Abuse Florida. They've got a message for you, and I'm gonna pretend my way to our next neighbor, and I'll meet you there. Hi, neighbor, welcome. My name is Nydia Intuda. I work with Prevent Child Abuse Florida. Hey, do you know what this is? That's right, it's a pinwheel. Well, did you know that this pinwheel has a special meaning? It does. The blue and silver pinwheel represents happy and healthy childhoods. These you can buy on our website, but you can also just make your very own pinwheel right at home. I'll show you how. Make sure you get a grown up to help you. Here's what you'll need. A pair of scissors, a straw, some glue, a thumbtack of any kind. Make sure you're real careful with that. And finally, you'll need the pinwheel activity sheet. You can print this from our website. You can print it on construction paper or regular computer paper, whatever you happen to have at hand. Let's get started. Cut along the solid line. Cut on the dotted line up to the circle. Good. 
glue the center. And take the ends that have a circle and meet it in the middle. You'll need to hold it down so it can stay. You may need to add more glue. Press down firmly. You could take your thumbtack and carefully poke through the middle. Take your straw and carefully poke through the straw. You can decorate your pinwheels any way you'd like. To find the activity sheet or to learn more about the Pinwheels for Prevention campaign, visit our website, preventchildabusefl.org. Bye-bye for now, neighbor. Hey, neighbors. Welcome back. While you were checking out a video from our sponsor, I was here checking out our friends at the Grove Museum. And while the museum isn't open right now, they're really excited to share with you a tour of their grounds in this video. So let's check it out. Hello everybody and welcome to the Grove Museum. We are so excited to be participating in WFSU's Be My Virtual Neighbor Day. The Grove Museum is still currently closed, but we are very happy to offer you so many different virtual videos and programs, including today's virtual video tour of the grounds and the outside of the house. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna walk along this sidewalk we're actually at the back of the house. We're entering through the back of the property. Now this property is actually very big. It's like a little park. It's 10.5 acres. And so we have all sorts of things that go on here all the time. So many animals and plants that we like to look at. So we're gonna walk along this sidewalk to the back of the house and you're gonna get to see a little bit about what our grounds look like. We're coming up now to our circular drive in the back of the Call Collins house. And now we may not have Daniel the Tiger here on this virtual neighbor day, but we do have Daniel the museum educator. Hi, hey what guys. are you doing? I'm just making some chalk art. So visual arts has always been important to community building or just representation of any community. So here at the Grove, we like to do the same thing. Here in Tallahassee, you can go all around your community and see some amazing um, art. So near the Frenchtown Farmer's Market, just around the corner from here, you can see a Mo Rosa Parks mural. On, at FAMU, you can see some Greek um, murals and Greek life stuff, kind of bringing notice to the Divine Nine. And down Macomb, you can see some beautiful magnolias. So yeah, all you need is chalk and pavement to make some chalk art of your own. Thank you so much, Daniel. We loved hearing about all the wonderful art in our community. So we've already learned about how important art is in our neighborhood, but now we need to learn about how important green spaces and nature is. And that's why we have our friend John here. Hey everybody. I'm just over here putting a little bit of bird seed in our bird feeder. And it's really uh, something you can do in your own yard. Put seed in a bird feeder so you can attract some feathered friends to your own property. A lot of green spaces in Tallahassee. The big trees are important habitat for birds, and we see a lot of birds here at the Grove. We see cardinals, blue jays, robins, and many, many more. So you can attract your own feathered friends to your yard with some bird seed, or go out to some of our great parks and green spaces in the community and see lots of birds and trees. Thank you. Thanks, John. Thanks for sharing with us how important the Grove is as a neighborhood space to the birds and the other little creatures that live in Tallahassee. Now we're going to move this way to show you a little bit more of the house and some of the history here. As I mentioned earlier, we are walking up to the back of the house. So I'm just going to turn around and let you take it all in. Now this is actually known as a Florida room. 
And this Florida room only was put on in the 1950s, but the original part of the house was actually put on in the 1800s. And as we come down here, I think I see another one of our friends. So this friend of ours is going to tell us more about the history. Hello, Amber. Hi, Mr. Beth. Hello, everyone. So here I've been looking at this old house that's in this neighborhood. Now you might go around your neighborhood and see old houses that they might have been there since the beginning of your neighborhood started. But there's also little things that you will see in your neighborhood as you walk around. And sometimes it could just be something that you're walking on, like these bricks here at the Grove. This sidewalk is actually made up of pavers, like the one I have in my hand, that used to make up a street that cars would drive on. So you never know, walking around your neighborhood, what little things you will find that will tell you the history of where you are living. Thanks so much, Amber. We're gonna close it out today at the front of our house and kind of talk a little more about what Amber just said. Now you're gonna get a nice good look of what the front of the Call Collins house looks like. So here at the Grove, what is so important to us and to our community is to share the history of our neighborhood. If you want to be a good neighbor, it's so important to know about what happened in the past. And that can be a few years ago, it could be hundreds of years ago. It's so important to know that so that you can be a good member of your community when you know about what has happened in your community. So that's what we do here at the Grove. Our mission is to engage the public in a dialogue about civil rights in American history. Civil rights being people fighting to be treated better in our town, in our state, and in our country. And then we learn about that, when we learn about that, it helps us understand today just a little bit better. So thank you so much for joining us on this to Be My Virtual Neighbor Day. We hope you learned a lot about what being a neighbor means from participating in art, helping out nature, and learning about the history of our community. So thank you all so much and thank you for WFSU for putting this together. Have a wonderful day. Oh, hi again, neighbors. We hope you're having so much fun with us for our very special Be My Neighbor Day. It does look a lot different this year, but we are so thankful to our friends at Prevent Child Abuse Florida for helping us bring some Be My Neighbor Day fun to you at home. If you wanna join in on more of the fun, visit a Leroy Collins Leon County Public Library branch near you to pick up a Be My Neighbor Day bag while supplies last. And we would love to see how you're being a caring neighbor. Take photos and share with us on WFSU Education's Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter at WFSU Education and use hashtag NeighborDayTLH. Hey, I have a good idea. Let's invite Daniel Tiger back for another round of Daniel Tiger Trivia. Hey, Daniel. Hey, Daniel, welcome back. We've been having so much fun visiting neighbors around Tallahassee and wish you could be here with us. But I thought we could keep playing our fun Daniel Tiger Trivia game. What do you think? Awesome. Neighbors at home, play along with us. Let's see. Our question is, how old is Daniel? Is it A, three, B, four, C, five, or D, six? Hmm. Neighbors at home, what do you think? That's right, friends. Daniel Tiger is four years old. Is that right, Daniel? Four years old. Hey, let's try one more. What does Mom Tiger like to bake? Is it A, cinnamon rolls, B, banana bread, C, sugar cookies, D, blueberry muffins? Hmm, all of those options sound so good. Neighbors, which one do you think it is? That's right, it's banana bread. Mmm, neighbors, what is your favorite baked treat? Oh, those sound so yummy. My favorite is chocolate chip muffins. Don't those sound good, Daniel? <laughs> hey, Daniel, 
I could use a stretch break. Do you want to get up and stretch with me? Let's do it. Neighbors, get up and move with us. Are you ready? Oh, okay, we're going to stretch up high into the sky. And then we'll bring it down and bend our knees. And then we're going to stretch out wide. And wiggle our fingers and shake out our arms. And we'll wrap and we'll wrap and we'll give ourselves a big hug. And we'll shake out one leg and we'll shake out another leg. And we'll wiggle our arms, wiggle our fingers, bring it in real close. Ah, that was great. What a great stretch. Thanks for moving with me, Daniel and neighbors. Now, oh wow, Daniel, I've got to run. It's time for us to visit our next neighbor in Tallahassee. See you soon. It's time to visit our next Tallahassee neighbor. Friends, do you like to read? I do too. Where can we go to get some books? Hmm, what's that? Oh, right, the library. Have you been to the library before? Well, are you ready to pretend with me so we can go together? Ready? Okay, close your eyes. Are they closed? Okay, and let's think about Books and books and books. One, two, three, let's go! Oh, it worked! We did it! And here we are at the Libra Collins Leon County Public Library, the main location. Now, what's really exciting is they are open to the public, so you can come inside, but if you don't want to, they also have curbside pickup, so you can pick up your books online and they'll bring them out to your car. But we're here anyway, so let's see what they've got going on for us today. Welcome neighbor. Come celebrate Be My Neighbor Day with the Leroy Collins Leon County Public Library. All library locations are open and offering curbside service. Check our website for the location closest to you and the hours. To celebrate with fun virtual programs, check our calendar for sing and sign baby time, preschool story time, sensory story time, and more. We'll see you there. Let's all visit the library, library, library. Let's all visit the library all through the year. The library doors swing open and shut, open and shut, open and shut. The library doors swing open and shut all through the day. The librarian says, can I help you? Can I help you? Can I help you? The librarian says, can I help you all through the day? We head to the shelves to look for books Look for books, look for books. We head to the shelves to look for books all through the day. We pick out books to read, 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 read. We pick out books to read, read, read all through the day. The catalog lists the books we like, books we like, books we like. The catalog lists the books we like all through the day. The library books check in and out, in and out, in and out. The library books check in and out all through the day. We're sad to leave, but we'll be back, we'll be back, we'll be back. We're sad to leave, but we'll be back all through the year. Hey friends, I was just reading this book that I picked up at the library. And what a great place the library is too. Don't forget, you can visit any Leroy Collins Leon County Public Library in Tallahassee to pick up your free Be My Neighbor Day bag while supplies last. And thanks so much to our sponsor, Prevent Child Abuse Florida, who helped make Be My Neighbor Day possible. While you're checking out this message from them, I'm gonna go out to our next neighborhood location. See you soon. They're all around us families with children going about their daily lives, errands, car problems, trying to get around with a toddler. Sometimes a family needs a little help to deal with life stresses. 
you can contribute to happy, healthy childhoods with a few simple steps. Contributing to a great childhood can be as easy as being a good neighbor. For more, preventchildabusefl.org. Hey friends, welcome back. We're here at the Museum of Florida History where you can learn all about Florida's past. Now while the museum isn't open right now, they've got something exciting to share with you. Have you ever been to a museum before? They're some of my favorite places to go. They've got artifacts, they've got pictures, and sometimes they've got animal bones. The museum's gonna take you on a fun tour to learn about neighbors all around the museum. So let's check it out. Hello, and welcome to the Museum of Florida History. To celebrate Be My Neighbor Day, we will be exploring our very own neighborhood museum go round, just like Miss Elena would, backwards. Our first stop, starting at the end, is our World War II gallery of the 1940s. During these troubling times, Floridians proudly served overseas and at home. In order to help out as much as they could, neighborhoods banded together to gather scrap material that could be recycled and to grow victory gardens. The combined effort of everyone helped Florida grow into the popular state that we know today. We've jumped back further and are now in the early 1900s. We find a Florida ready to be explored by daring adventurers in their Model Ts. Nicely paved roads and elaborate tourist spots were just getting their start. So get ready for a bumpy ride going down dirt and brick roads. Never fear though, you can meet up with your friends along the way with fellow tin can campers. You can't be homesick if you take your neighborhood on the road with you. Looks like our trolley is here. Let's ride it to our next stop. Continuing back, this time by over 200 years, we are in the 1670s and find the Castillo de San Marcos defending Spanish Florida's largest city, St. Augustine. The town was the first permanent European settlement in what is now the United States, and its neighbor was another first of its kind, the free black settlement of Fort Mose. Formed from those who freed themselves from slavery, the fort provided safety and community to many. Two hundred years further, in the early 1500s, we have arrived at Hontoon Island, just north of modern Orlando. This village is well established, with the St. John's people and their ancestors having inhabited the area for thousands of years. They have well-built homes, close ties to the large communities around them, and are experts at traversing the area in dugout canoes. They also had extensive trade connections with other groups that reached far into the north. That last jump covered around 12,000 years and has landed us at the feet of a giant mastodon. This is the time of giant mammals, Florida's first people who hunted them, and the tail end of the ice age that transformed Florida from an opened grassland into an environment that we recognize today. While their neighborhood might look a little different, community was everything to the survival of Florida's first people. Thank you for exploring the museum with us today. For more museum fun, check out our social media page for other videos, virtual tours, and more. Until next time. Wow, the Museum of Florida History has so many cool things to share. Thanks to them and all of our partners for sharing with us today on Be My Neighbor Day. Now we have one more partner to visit and it's so close. I think I'll actually walk there. I'll meet you there. We're here at the beautiful Florida Historic Capitol Building, which is also a museum. Now, while the museum isn't open to the public right now, they're really excited to share with you an activity all about voting. All right. Hello, neighbors, and welcome to the Florida Historic Capitol Museum. My name is Stephanie. I am the education coordinator. Today, my friends and I want to talk to you about voting. JJ, Kayla, Maya, Ia, Ramsey, and Jaden will vote on an ice cream flavor for the historic capital. But just like when Daniel Tiger and his friends were voting on new playground equipment, we all must stop, think, and choose. Voting is an important part of being a citizen. When we vote, we must think carefully about the issues that are important to us and to our neighbors. Today, ice cream is the issue. Maya, please tell me which ice cream flavor you would vote for and why. Remember to stop, think, and choose. 
I would vote for mint chocolate chip because the cold mint flavor really complements the chocolate. That is great. Ia, what flavor would you vote for? Mint chocolate chip. Okay. Jaden, what flavor would you vote for? Chocolate. Because, and why? Because it has a really good flavor than the others to me. All right. JJ, what flavor would you vote for? I would vote for mint because it has chocolate chips in it. All right. And Kayla, what flavor would you vote for? I would vote for mint chocolate chip because um, it tastes good to me um, and it makes your breath smell good. And finally, Ramsey, what flavor would you vote for? I would vote for mint chocolate chip because it's minty and chocolate, and I think that that's a really good flavor. All or right. You guys did so good thinking about your choices. Now I'm going to put up the poll. I'm going to ask you guys to vote. And let's see which flavor will win. All right, and JJ, I know that you would vote for mint chocolate chip, although your Zoom account is not letting you. So we have a winner. Mint chocolate chip wins with five, or with five, no, four out of the six votes. Good job, you guys. All right. Thank you so much to our very special neighbors, Maya, Ia, JJ, Kayla, Ramsey and Jaden. I really enjoyed learning about voting and remembering to stop, think, and choose with you today. I hope you all did too. If you want to learn more about voting and how it reflects our voices as citizens, please visit our website, flhistoriccapital.gov, and virtually explore our brand new temporary exhibit, Voices and Votes, from the Smithsonian's Museums on Main Street Initiative. Goodbye. Oh, wow. So that's how voting works. I'm glad they could come to a decision. Now I'm hungry for some ice cream. But hasn't Be My Neighbor Day been so much fun today, neighbors? We've seen so many great places around Tallahassee. And oh, we got to see our friend Daniel. Hey, Daniel. Hey, there you are. Daniel, thank you for visiting with us in Tallahassee for Be My Neighbor Day. We've had so much fun with you. Well, what's wrong, Daniel? Are you sad that Be My Neighbor Day is ending? I understand. It's sad when things have to end. But we can be happy about all of the new things we got to learn along the way. And even though we can't all be together right now, we can still be caring neighbors, right? Hey, neighbors. Do you think we can tell Daniel together how much we love him? Do you think that would cheer him up? I'm going to count to three, and then we'll say, we love you, Daniel. Are you ready? One, two, three. We love you, Daniel. Thank you for visiting us for Be My Neighbor Day, Daniel. We'll see you soon. Bye. Friends, we've been having so much fun sharing with you today. So please share with us how you're being a caring neighbor. Share your photos with us on WFSU Education's Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter at WFSU Education and use hashtag NeighborDayTLH. Don't forget, you can pick up a Be My Neighbor Day bag at your nearest Leroy Collins Leon County Public Library branch while supplies last. And make sure to sign up for our Be My Neighbor Day raffle basket. Visit wfsu.org slash education slash neighbor day to sign up by Sunday. Five lucky winners will be picked on Monday, February 15th. I've had so much fun with you all today. Thank you to our sponsor, Prevent Child Abuse Florida, and to all of our partners who have shared so much today and all week long. And thank you to Daniel Tiger for visiting us in Tallahassee too. Be My Neighbor Day is all about being a caring neighbor and being a caring neighbor 
means being a good friend. Think about different ways you can be a caring neighbor to the people in your community. While we can't all be together right now, we can tell our friends we love them through a card or a phone call. And maybe we could give food or clothes to a neighbor who needs help. And of course, we can always be kind to everyone. I'm Haley with WFSU Public Media, and it has been a pleasure hosting you all for Be My Neighbor Day. See you soon. Bye neighbors. They're all around us. Families with children going about their daily lives. Errands, car problems, trying to get around with a toddler. Sometimes a family needs a little help to deal with life stresses. You can contribute to happy, healthy childhoods with a few simple steps. Contributing to a great childhood can be as easy as being a good neighbor. For more, preventchildabusefl.org.